What up gang, and welcome back to the channel. Got some news today. It's new toy day. Let's check it out. Thanks for dropping in. Quick review today on the Incredible Technologies Arcade Collection. What is it? Essentially, it is Silver Strike X Target Toss Pro with bags and power put all together on one hard drive, security chip, and CID. And today I'm gonna to be adding it to my Magic Switcher, which I have inside of my Mega Cave right behind me. I'm going to be running Golden Tea Live 2021 on one channel, and I'll be running the Arcade Collection on a separate channel, instead of having to use all four channels for four separate games. The beauty of it is, Target Toss is now in 1080p, so we can run everything on a 1080p card. Welcome to 2022. But um, if you do not know what the Magic Switcher is, I will drop a video link in the description below and you can watch that video and it will explain everything you need to know. Now, I do understand. The best way to do this and run the Arcade Collection alongside Golden Tee is to have two separate Nighthawks, two separate I.O. boards, use the perfect solution switcher. You can switch back and forth while they're fully active at all times. You don't have to shut the machines down. I get it, I totally understand that. If you're like me and you're strapped for space and you don't have the real estate inside of a cabinet, the Magic Switcher is going to be your next best thing. Bear in mind, if you have two channels turned on at the same time or more and you power it up, you're gonna fry some security chips. Ask me how I know. But with all that aside, I'm pretty well versed with this thing now and uh, I'm just going to be adding the arcade collection to the Switcher with Golden Tee 2021 and I will show you what they look like. We'll do some gameplay. Just so you know, this arcade collection is not available to homeowners just yet. I can't tell you where I got it. Please refrain from asking me or commenting anything regarding how you can get one or where to get it because I just can't tell you where to go to get it. I know it's gonna come out sometime soon. Can't tell you when, but until then, enjoy the video. We're gonna check this out, bang it out right now. Let's get into it. All right guys, figured I'd show you the hardware real quick. As promised, SSD, security chip, and CID, all of which brand new. Now, when you order this kit from IT, when it does become available, you're gonna get a full kit with a control deck, a trackball in it, a wiring harness with some extra buttons. That control deck's gonna have the new artwork for the arcade collection overlay on it. You're also gonna get a new marquee for your, your lighted marquee, and uh, you're gonna get, of course, the CID security chip and hard drive. The hard drive will come as an HDD. I've already had this cloned to SSD, which in my opinion is the best way to go. They work just as good, a lot less problematic, a lot smaller and easier to store. So that being said, Let's toss this stuff in there and get it going. All right, here we are in the back of the cabinet. I have my Nighthawk opened up right here. So I got one extra SATA connector here for the drive with power. And then here's my magic switcher. So you can see I only have Golden T in it right now. I'm gonna be putting the Arcade Collection on channel four. So, uh, and then I have one other spot over here where we are going to be plugging in the CID. So I have the CID over here for Golden Tee, and this CID is going right here for the Arcade Collection, and then here's the other part of the switcher where I'm gonna be running it on channel four. So let's get that done right quick. Voila, here we go. So we have the CID hooked up for the Arcade Collection. That's gonna be in number 24, hooked up to the Magic Switcher, and then you can see we now have the security chip for arcade right there it's in channel four make sure you have the orientation of the chip facing in the right direction ask me how i know and then uh, we have the hard drive plugged in the ssd down here i'm going to button this back up and just so you guys know if you are curious about the specs to run the arcade collection i believe you have to have a golden t live 2013 or newer and that will have i think a gig of ram and just the specs that you need to run it without any problems and also if you are interested in the magic switcher i'm going to be dropping my affiliate link in the description so please by all means use my link it's going to save you 50 bucks on it so anyway let's button this up and fire it up here we go up and running check out the sexiness this is just running in a track mode right now. If you take a look at the marquee, that's a little special sauce I got going up there. Look 
at how silky it is. So I have an animated marquee on my Megacade and I actually had this uh, animated marquee image put together. So what I do is I essentially pause the Megacade, so to speak, and it allows me to, I, I can load a dummy game with a marquee and I have this marquee assigned to it. So I can pause the machine and when I hit my HDMI 2 input and I head over to the Nighthawk, which is what I'm on now, you can see this glorious rotating animated marquee with all three games that are on this particular arcade collection. So it's just a little something I wanted to have created and do my own thing with it. Um, and then of course I have the OG lighted marquees up there. So here it is guys, in all of its glory. Let's uh, queue up and play a couple games. So I did already go into the operator adjustables and turn everything on free play. Uh, by default, raw talk is turned off. So I'm sure most of you guys are gonna wanna have raw talk turned on. Uh, yada yada so let's go ahead and get into it play a little bit and we'll talk about it all right we're going to take it off wide angle mode so we can get a better look at the screen here but here we go um free play so you use the trackball to go back and forth through the games if you guys haven't seen this yet so let's start off with target toss just because no one's ever played it in 1080p i mean we're going to do that right now Let's play lawn darts, one player, classic lawn darts. So, like I said, I do have Raw Talk turned on. Uh, we'll throw a couple darts, we'll go back, we'll uh, pull a couple frames, and we will uh, maybe put a couple holes in power putt. There we go. Let's just leave it alone. I've probably played like six, seven hundred rounds of golden tea on this trackball, so it's nice and broken in. But you guys get the picture, I mean, left and right, lawn darts just the way God intended it, full 1080p. Yeah, and there's me just uh, throwing willy-nilly, so. Now, when you want to get out, you hit start. And then the menu comes up, we can quit. You do have the options here for volume and raw talk there. So I'm gonna quit and uh, let's do yes. Let's go back in here and check out bags. Because this is technically two games in here in this particular version. So, do generic and then you can set it up you know change your shot angle you can set up for a flop or a slide or a bounce right now let's just do a slide and keep it low and suck hard at it there we go i usually keep it on the bounce so he's all about the one point there you have it. Let's throw one more here. Get a little bit of redemption. Ish. There we go. Alright, so back out of this. Quit. Oh, yes, and then we're going to keep moving along. Let's head over to Power Putt. Play a hole or two. How about uh, Skull Island? Pretty dope. What a great day for mini golf. We're at Skull Island and the weather is beautiful. You can mod out your guy, so if you want to go in here and customize your golfer, you can still do all that stuff. Whatever, you know. I'm not really going to mess with it right now, but let's see if we can get an ace on this. And there's your raw talk for everybody inquiring. Let's log that great shot for the scorecard. All right. Taking on hole two. I keep going to hit quick shot when I play power putt just because I'm so used to playing gold too. All right. That's right, bitch. <laughs> uh, I gotta love the raw talk. Moving on to hole three. 
All right, let's do one more hole here. That was stupid. Fuck yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Really? This putt is for me. Right. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about right there. All right, cool. Let's back out of this. We'll go to Silver Strike real quick. I'm just trying to get through this real quick, guys, show you what there is to be seen. And then here we are back at the main menu. Now we'll go to Silver Strike. So the only thing that I don't understand is why in the world they have the generic Silver Strike logo for that. It's Silver Strike X. It should be, you know, it should just be the Silver Strike X marquee, but whatever. So Kingpin. So you can also monitor your guy. Literally everything is identical to the uh, separate versions of the games. It's just all packed into one. So I'll show you the operator adjustables here too. Silver Strike is actually super fun to play when you got a group of people over, which I will be doing later tonight with some booze. Let's see if we can get a strike on this bitch one time. Yeah, it's close to the sweet spot. Um, it does have the Vegas, uh, the Vegas uh, like bowling, or I got the red pin challenge on. Same with um, Power Putt, you can turn on the Vegas. Whatever that is, I never really paid attention to it, but the Vegas games where you can draw cards and stuff when you hit certain shots. Or, um, yeah, it does it with uh, Power Putt and with uh, Target Toss. So, anyway, that is it for the gameplay. Let me back out of this. Actually, I didn't mean to do that. And I got operator adjustables right on the back. So, let me, let me get into that and I'll show you the menu. All right, so as soon as you get into operator adjustables or you hit the test button, you're going to end up in this part of the menu. It looks a little different than what you guys are used to, but no big deal. And then here's where you can go into each game individually. Um, general, this is where I set it all on free play. Game mode going here. It's on free play, so let's exit out of there. Set the volume up. I have them both at 100% because I use a little volume dial underneath of the front of my control panel here to, to set that where I want it. Obviously, you can do your factory reset, your button check, blah, 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 just screen. So here's where you want to get into each individual game. Let's get into the power puck because it's got raw talk. So this menu definitely looks familiar to you guys if you messed around in here. Let's go to uh, general settings. Actually, nope, let's go back. Power puck golf settings. And then we're going to do game options. And here you go. So, like, I got the shot timeout turned off over par limit of six strokes. Um, turned off the poker putt. Raw talks turned on. And you don't have the option anymore for an operator banner because it's, you know, it's an offline game. So, um, let's get out of here. We will go check out Target Toss Pro. Obviously, again, this looks very familiar to you guys. Let's get into the Target Toss settings game options and here we go I got the timeouts all turned off because you know man we're over here drinking partying people catch a buzz you know get sidetracked go smoke a cigarette or whatever so i always turn on the delay timeouts or turn it off so you don't have to mess with that and then you got your vegas poker i always turn that off because i don't really care about it practice goes are off rock talk is on much like power putt so whoops here we go and then silver strike Silver Strike settings, all the same stuff. So if you did have this monetized to make money on location, obviously you can set all the player cost schedules and you can set all the coin, you know, currencies and costs and all that good stuff. So anyway, that is going to wrap up this uh, short review. I'm super stoked to have this on it. Um, I've been kind of looking forward to this kit for a long time. If you guys have any questions, please, by all means, drop it in the comments. Again, I cannot get this for you. I cannot help you find one. It is not available for home edition owners yet. IT, if you're listening, I'm using all legit components here. So uh, nothing cracked, nothing hacked. That's the beauty of the Magic Switcher. If you don't have the space or the real estate in your cabinet, 
to have two Nighthawks and maybe you just don't have the money to buy two of them and use the perfect solutions thing, this is going to be your next best bet. Um, you guys, please, as always, like, share, subscribe. Please ring the bell, catch my live streams. I definitely get down and play for real on my live streams. If you guys want to check it out, ring the bell. Thanks for the love. I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.